I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kudla. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, tennis fans, and welcome back to another GTL Watch Along. And it's Novak Djokovic, the world number one the reigning French Open champion, the Roland Garros champion of 2021. He makes his return on the red clay here in Paris. And it's against the left-hander. It's not no, It's not Rafa Nadal, though. It's not Rafa Nadal. It is Yoshito Nishioka. And the left-hander from Japan is trying to come here and upset what would be an incredible upset, to be fair. It wouldn't just be upsetting the apple cart. It would be upsetting the whole world, really, in the sense that no one's expecting it. No one is expecting it whatsoever. I've got some Serbians in here already. Thank you for joining in, Jordan. Thomas says, hello. Hi, Thomas. How are you doing? And Yuri as well. And we have a new member as well. Fantastic. Thanks for becoming a member. Uh, yeah, thank you everyone as well for tuning in. Do remember to hit that like button, please, if you are coming into the chat and the watch along, of course. And we should be getting underway soon. They're just warming up their serves. And then we should be getting underway very, very soon here. Uh, Djokovic, of course, looking to win not only his third Roland Garros title, but it will be his third career Grand Slam as well. And also, he wants to try and equal the Grand Slam race, right? He's trying to get on level terms of Rafa Nadal on 22 slams. And that would be a very, very interesting like a state of affairs going into Wimbledon, uh, considering that's an exhibition event. Does it even count as a grand slam? I don't know. Anyway, that's another topic. Anyway, here we go. Nishioka uh, just doing a little bit of a skip uh, to the touchline. It will be no about Djokovic to start us off here. The world number one. Lexi says, hello, Fazan. Hi, Lexi. Thanks for tuning in. It is going to be no about Djokovic, the Serbian, to start proceedings here today. And see very packed stadium as you'd expect, right? The the night session, it's Novak Djokovic, the world number one. Yes, he's probably not as loved as Nadal in Paris, but he's pretty well loved. Big serve down the tee, went into the rally here. Backhand from Djokovic into well, it was into the forehand of Nishioka, but it goes long. Of course, Nishioka, a lefty as well. So is this good practice for Nadal? Pfft, I don't think so, really. And uh, in his estimation, he's probably not worried about it at all, I'd imagine. He's probably thinking, yeah, easy. Easy as you like. I'll get this done. And uh, nice little warm-up for him is what he will be thinking. And just as Sam is saying here, no-brainer, 6-love, six 6-1, six six love really. No, it's not going to be that easy, I don't think. I'd be very surprised, but we'll see. Anyway, a uh, big forehand from Djokovic. Cross-court backhand from this joke in response. Djokovic goes down the line with a forehand. Great depth. And it is a lob up in the air from Nishioka. Smash opportunity for Djokovic. Puts it away. Goes into him with the smash. And Nishioka not able to get anywhere near that. On the back foot straight away in the second point. Being, well, just run ragged in that point. Left, right, and center. Really tough for the Japanese player already early on in this match. 15 all, early days. Um, what you need, though, is you need Nishioka really to hold serve right a couple of times and try and make it interesting. We'll see if you can do that. Big serve out wide from Novak Djokovic and the backhand return goes long from the left hand in Nishioka. So it is 30-15. Oh, he's got a little earring in there. It's on his left ear, Nishioka. Are you allowed to as a tennis player? Do you remember when you were at school and you had to tape up your earring if you had an earring? I mean, I didn't, but, you know, uh, a lot of the girls, some of the boys even as well, had earrings and had to tape it up. 30-15 here to Novak Djokovic in his red attire as always and white shorts. Good serve out wide into the forehand of Nishioka from the outside into a rally here. 
Good into in forehand from Djokovic. Then goes down the line. Nishioka sticking with him. Goes cross court with his own forehand into the backhand of Djokovic. And Djokovic goes long. Trying to go down the line. Change direction. He's trying to hit the ball as deep as possible, right? He's trying to find his depth and his rhythm. And just hitting that one a bit long. So, uh, yeah, not a great... Uh, Little passage of play there from the sir, but you won't mind. 30 all, nothing to worry about as of yet, anyway. For either player. 30 all. Big sad down T from Djokovic. Forehand down the middle from Nishioka. Backhand, lob backhand. Djokovic steps in, drives the forehand into out, then goes backhand cross. Nishioka goes forehand cross. And then the forehand's backhand exchange. Here. Oh, Nishioka has an opportunity. It's a short ball, it's center of the court. And Nishioka tries to step in and hit the backhand cross into the Djokovic forehand. And instead he goes long. It's an approach shot. Doesn't make it. He should be making it. It's a regulation approach shot for the Japanese player. We disappointed with that. It would have been a chance to open up an early break point here as well. 40-30 here. Good serve out wide from Djokovic into the forehand. Forehand down the line from Nishioka. Great depth. And Djokovic mishits that forehand. And it does go long. So Juice, it's not going to be a very straightforward game here for Novak Djokovic to start us off. And that is a shank as well. So uh, I think we need to get the shank button out, don't we? If I can even find it. But yeah. No, can't find it. Right, is Juice. Big serve down the tee. Good forehand down the middle. Very short, though, from Nishioka on the return. And Djokovic goes wide. He goes wide again. It's a, a bit of a shank again. I think it warrants the shank button. Yeah. And that does mean that we are going to have an early breakpoint opportunity here for Nishioka. Wow. This would be a very surprising turn of events early on here. Big serve down the tee, though, from Djokovic. Forehand down the middle. Sorry, backhand down the middle from Nishioka on the return. Good depth. Wins the rally. Djokovic trying to stretch Nishioka left and right. Short, though, from the Japanese player. Into out goes Djokovic. Very short from Nishioka. Backhand cross from Djokovic. Backhand down the line. Nishioka goes cross as well with the backhand. Good forehand down the line, though, from the serve. He's sticking in the rally. Good depth, though, from the Japanese player. Better from him. Backhand to forehand. Novak's backhand into the forehand. Nishioka is too good from Novak Djokovic. Goes into out with the forehand. Way too good. Uh, opens up on that forehand side. Says, okay, that's enough backhands. Time to open up on my forehand side. And whips that forehand into out. That's a clean winner from the Serb. Accelerates through the ball and the court. Very impressive from Novak Djokovic. Here we go. We are at juice. Djokovic goes out wide, goes into the net with the slice serve. It will be a second serve. Of course, he's trying to go out wide on the juice side, and that is actually one of his favorite serves into the lefty backhand. It's a really, really good serve for him. He hits it for the most part very effectively and again does go for it because all oh, on the second serve, but then the forehand from Djokovic goes wide. It was a good return from Nishioka. He read it really well, actually. It was a good second serve. Kicked up really high. Nishioka, though, with a fantastic backhand return cross court. And just drags Djokovic out wide. And he goes long with the forehand. So it's another breakpoint opportunity here. Surely we're not going to get Djokovic getting broken in the first game of this match, are we? Are we? In his defense of his Roland Garros title. Big, oh, no, we're not. Well, not for now anyway. Huge serve from Novak Djokovic down the tee on the ad side. That is inch perfect from the world number one and the reigning Roland Garros champion. That is just sublime tennis from Novak Djokovic. And what you come to expect, I guess, from the number one player in the world and someone who's won so many slams. Oh, Lexi says Novak in three sets. Yeah. And the says, of course, Lexi. Mm, maybe, yeah. There we go, Juice here. Djokovic trying to just get out of this game. It's been already a pretty messy one. Quite a few juices. Second serve out wide from Djokovic. Forehand cross as well. Then goes backhand down the middle. 
Big forehand from Nishioka across the court. And Djokovic makes the mistake again. Goes backhand into the net. So it's going to be another break point opportunity here for Nishioka. He keeps on knocking on the door. And I have to say, Djokovic... I mean, Nishioka is knocking on the door, but Djokovic is really opening the door for him. He's not having to <laughs> kick the door down here, Nishioka. Djokovic is making a lot of mistakes early on. And at the moment, he's just struggling for a little bit of rhythm. A couple of unforced errors early on here. Just warming up, Novak. Big serve down the tee, though. Short ball to put away. He does put away, does he? Oh, he does just. I'll tell you what, that was very close. It was a dry volley. He took it on. Didn't wait for it to bounce. And he goes into out with the dry volley and into the open court. Very, very good from Novak Djokovic. Sam says, goat, I guess. Yeah, I did it for you. Oh, how could you do that, Sam? Yeah, juice. There you go. Novak goes out wide with the serve. Oh, clips the baseline though, Nishioka. Does he? No, he doesn't. He just goes long. So it's going to be a game point here for Djokovic. I'll be happy with that. Guys, if you haven't done so already as well, please do remember to smash the like button, please, if you haven't done so already. Really does help us out. Um, so please do remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. But yeah, please do like the video. Let's get to 100 likes as soon as possible, please. It would really, really help us out. Helps us with the YouTube algorithm and all that good stuff. You guys know. Here we go. Big second serve into the middle of the box, though, from Djokovic. Good kick serve, but then slices into the net. Nishioka, again, with a very good return. He's returning the second serves really well here, Nishioka. It's a big kick serve, really big. But down the middle of the box, and Nishioka says, OK, I'm going to make that into a forehand. So whips the forehand cross court. Make sure he gets over it. And Djokovic on the stretch slices into the net. So we're back to juice. Jared says, when has Djokovic lost in the first round of major... Was this one first round? Oh, I don't know. It's a good question. Oh, really big from Novak Djokovic, though. It's a big serve out wide from the juice side. And again, this time, though, Nishioka nowhere near it. It's an ace for Novak Djokovic. He's coming up trumps in some of the big moments here early on. We're only in the first game, but it's already been pretty topsy-turvy. I'm not sure, Jared, actually. If someone in the chat knows, let me know. He can't have lost many times. Big serve, though, from Djokovic out wide. Again, it is an ace. It's back-to-back -back aces out wide for the serve. He gets on the board here. It wasn't easy, but he's one love up here, and it's still on serve. So he nudges in front, the world number one and the Roland Garros champion. <laughs>
It is 30 love. It's a good start by the Japanese player. There you go, Nishioka here with a second serve for Djokovic to have a look at. Djokovic goes backhand down the middle, then goes cross court, does Nishioka. Backhand cross from Djokovic. Forehand clips the baseline, Nishioka, and he's on the offensive with the forehand. Has to hit a backhand, though, here cross court. Djokovic goes down the line with a backhand, then tries to go into out with a forehand. And he looks at the surface to say that was a dodgy bounce and goes into the net. And we did see a few of the dodgy bounces, didn't we, in the Nadal match against Thompson? And I'm just thinking who I don't think. I mean, Djokovic is definitely, for me, you know, with our cross. Well, I think he is the favorite Djokovic anyway, uh, and rightly so for the tournament. Um, but I wonder how he fares with the dodgy bounces compared to someone like Nadal. I don't think he likes them as much. Uh, big serve, though, from Nishioka into the backhand of Djokovic. Great return from the serve. Great depth. And Nishioka goes wide with the one-plus shot. Very interesting sounds. Is after this, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, well, if you do want to support the channel even further, do become a member. There's also a PayPal link in the, uh, pinned to the live chat. And you can also do so with a super chat as well. Uh, into in forehand from Nishioka. Big, big forehand. And the backhand from Djokovic goes long. So it's a very good hold from Nishioka. I don't think we have a Nishioka button, which isn't a surprise, to be fair. He needs to do a bit better, and then we can start giving him one, can't we? Uh, but one all here. Oz, uh, also, music says Novak benefits from early games and sets going long so he can break down their tendencies. Mm. That's a very good point. I guess he gets used to it, right? And then he's able to get a gauge of how they're going to play, I guess. That's actually quite a good comment, to be fair, and observation. Obviously, he gets more used to it, to be fair. you think the same would hold true the other way around, but I think he's probably one of the best players in terms of being able to adapt. I think it can sometimes take him a set, as we've seen, and he's lost a lot of first sets, but then he goes on to win uh, after kind of downloading the information almost. Second serve into the forehand of Nishioka, then goes into out. Great top spin here from the Japanese player. Then goes down the line with the backhand. He's sticking with Djokovic here. Uh, really good depth on the forehand. Then goes down the line, though. Backhand cross. Djokovic having to work really hard in these points. He really is. The backhand cross from Nishioka is really good. And Djokovic goes long with the forehand. He doesn't have huge power, Nishioka, but he's sitting with big top spin, especially on the forehand side. And uh, he's really ripping the forehand. The backhand is relatively solid. I mean, he goes cross-court for the most part. I don't really see him opening up, going down the line with it. But he's having some success here. Love 15. Lexis, like I'm just having dinner now. Gosh, well, wonder where Sir Gary and Gina are true. Stoch says, who's your favorite tennis player? Oh, that's a controversial question. Forehand from Djokovic, cross-court. Then goes into win. Backhand cross from Nishioka. Good backhand from... Oh, no, it's not. It's not a good backhand at all from Nishioka. Djokovic pummeling the Nishioka backhand. And in the end, Nishioka goes long with the backhand. So it is 15 all here. My favorite tennis player is Rafa Nadal, but don't kill me. I do really, I really like Djokovic and Federer and all tennis players, to be fair. But yeah. Um, but yeah, in terms of if I had to pick one, then yeah, Nadal. Lexi says, Yoshi is a video game character. Wow. Fair enough. Ams says, hello. Hi, Ams. How are you doing? Thanks for joining the chat and the stream. 15 all here. Novak Djokovic trying to have a bit of an easier game. And he gets a free point there. It's a second serve into the backhand. Nishioka does get over it quite nicely, but he goes into the net cord and it bounces wide, luckily for Djokovic. Because if it just dribbled over, which sometimes it does, then it would have been 15-30 rather than 30-15 here. We could have been looking at a potentially messy game again. He's just struggling for first serves in this game so far. The first game he was okay. Hit quite a few first serves, found his spots. Uh, I was impressed with the amount of kick he was getting on the second serve. Let's see how he goes with this second serve. What does he do? And he does go kick serve into the forehand of Nishioka. But then the forehand from Djokovic goes wide. He bends those knees, Djokovic, after that deep return from Nishioka and says, okay, right, I'm going to plant here. We're going to redirect it. 
We redirect it into the tram line. So it is 30 all. Djokovic goes down the tee. Big serve into out forehand from Nishioka. Then goes cross court. Kips the net court. This time it does stay in. We're into the rally. Djokovic's forehand into Nishioka's backhand. It's a slice though from Nishioka short. Djokovic steps in. Goes in to win with a forehand. It's a very big forehand. Really, really impressive from Novak Djokovic. Much better from the Serb there. Uh, Bumba says, whatever happens, set one and two. I don't see Novak losing. Yeah. I think, look, if we look at it from an odds perspective or whatever, um, it doesn't matter. I think even if it's two sets of love up, then, uh, yeah, you know, realistically, if it's two sets of love down, sorry, even realistically, it doesn't matter. He's still going to be the favorite, right? Uh, that's just the way it is because he's the world number one. He's probably not just one of the favorites. He is the favorite. So, yeah, understandable. Big second serve into the backhand from Djokovic on the outside. Nishioka goes long. Djokovic gives a little look to say, that's better. That's what I should be doing on my serve to his box. And that's exactly what he should be doing. He does hold. No breaks of serve yet here. Two and up here. Novak Djokovic, he nudges in front once again. Guys, as well, please do remember to smash the like button, please, if you haven't done so already. You can see there's 56 likes on the channel on the channel on the stream but only 200 and oh god you know what let's try that again only 56 likes but 199 well 200 of you actually watching so that means only a quarter of you have liked the video not acceptable no but in all seriousness please do uh, smash the like button please if you haven't done so already really does help us out a great deal uh we do appreciate it uh if you are liking a stream and you are you know watching listening, wherever it might be. And if you're new as well, do hit the subscribe button. It does help us out a great deal. Lexi says, Ems. Happy that Ems is in the chat. Lexi says, <laughs> nole, nole, nole. Yeah. Right, one, two down here, Nishioka. Needs to uh, just hold serve. Hold serve and then see what he can do on the return games. Djokovic is one of the best... Ret well, actually, no, let's rephrase. Djokovic is the best returner of all time. Even as an Nadal fan, I can I can acknowledge that. Lexi says, Fazan, who did you predict to win in this match? Nishioka, of course. No, I'm just joking. Of course, Novak Djokovic. Who else would I go for? Lexi, who else would I go for? Novak Djokovic, of course. I have Novak Djokovic winning the tournament in my bracket. I have him winning the tournament. Spoiler alert if you, uh, yeah, if you haven't watched my draw preview video, but yeah. Spoiler alert. I mean, I have to be honest with you. It's really hard to see him losing to even Rafa in the quarterfinals. I mean, I just think it's going to be tough. Um, maybe I should, you know, as a Rafa fan, have more faith, but I think Djokovic is just playing really well. And it, unless it's a final at Roland Garros, I think he's got a really good chance. Uh, which it won't be. Into in forehand from Nishioka after the serve. Great one-plus play there from the Japanese player. Clips the line. Clips the tram line there. 15. Oh, does he? No, he doesn't. Oh, love 15. Okay, sorry. I was going to say great forehand, but it's gone wide. So it is love 15. Wins the rally here at love 15. Good kick back down there from Nishioka. I'm liking that. On two feet there. It's jumping up. Mid-air hitting that backhand. He's not afraid, as I said, to take it on the rise. Good backhand down the line. Drop shot from Nishioka. Djokovic gets there. Oh, what a pass from the Serb. He gets the drop shot, and he goes cross-court with the backhand and just passes Nishioka with ease. Really impressive from the Serb. And that's exactly what we've seen for so many years. The athleticism is just second to none. And the dexterity as well, and the wrists incredible incredible big serve into the backhand from Nishioka then goes cross court with the forehand it's a backhand lob from Djokovic and Nishioka goes okay I'm going to go forehand cross court and then he goes backhand cross court Djokovic sticking with him does he go along with the forehand I think he has so it's 15-30 but Djokovic has big inroads here and Nishioka on the back foot straight away in this game. He was love 30 down. He needs to be really careful here. Um, says Rafa seems to be the overwhelming favorite on this channel. No, I think Ben, uh, I think Ben's a Nole fan, really. 
I think he is. I don't know whether he does it just to wind up JG, but I'm pretty sure he is. I'm pretty sure he is from what I've heard. Uh, Liana says, Idamo! Good serve out wide from Nishioka. Backhand, though, from Djokovic. Down the line. Oh, and then the forehand just whips it long. Interesting. 30 all. Lexi says, M's because of JG. I love Rafa the most, but cheering on Novak whenever he plays because whenever he plays, but except against my boys. Renard says, it seems like Novak lost a set or two in every single major match last year. Oh, crazy. Good backhand down the line from Nishioka. Smash opportunity. Puts it away, does he? Yes, he does. Just. He says sorry because he's missed hit the smash, but he has made it. So that's all that matters, really. Impressive stuff from the Japanese player. Goes backhand up the line after the first serve. It's a really good backhand right in the corner. Pushed Novak back. He had to hit a defensive block backhand. And in the end, it turned into an overhead for the Japanese player to put away. Keen just says, what's up, everyone? What's up, Fazan and everyone? Yeah, we're good. Oh, ace from Nishioka. Wow. That is impressive stuff from the Japanese player. Really, really impressive. It's an ace to close out the game. Two all here. And yeah, we're still on serve. Still on serve after being love 30. I thought, this is it. No, that's going to break. But fair play to Nishioka. is sticking in there. Soham says, Rafa looks strong today. Yeah, he looked, he looked pretty good. I mean, I watched it earlier. And yeah, I mean, I don't think he looked incredible, but I think he looked pretty good. He got the job done. Looks solid. I mean, I guess you don't really want to peak until the second week anyway. And that's, I don't think we're going to see Djokovic or Alcaraz even looking amazing until the second week either. That's assuming they make the, all make the second week, which I'm assuming they will. And you go backhand from Djokovic. Oh, it's a dodgy bounce. And he goes, oh, man, what's going on there? Let's have a look. Oh, that's a really dodgy bounce. <laughs> that's a really dodgy bounce. It's down the middle of the court. And uh, Djokovic has gone to uh, just hit the backhand. And he's framed that over. Crazy. Oh, huge serve down the tee from Novak Djokovic. On the ad side, oh, that has been such a good plus to his game. Just being able to hit aces now, hitting his spots, huge, huge improvement. 15 all. Big serve again from Djokovic. The call is out. He wants to go and have a look at the mark. I reckon he might be right. No, oh, no they say it's out. They say it's out. It's okay, fair enough. Lexi says, oh, Fazan, choosing Novak over Rafa. I chose with my head instead of my heart, Lexi. What can I say? What can I say? Hmm. 15 all. Second serve here. Djokovic goes into the back of Nishioka. Then goes down the line with the forehand. Very short from Nishioka. Djokovic goes approach shot down the line with the backhand. And Nishioka has a chance to pass the serve, but goes into the net. So it is 30-15 here. Djokovic is playing, is playing some solid tennis. So it's not nothing extraordinary at the moment, but that could definitely come. Yeah, King just says Nishioka doing better than I thought. I agree. Yeah, I thought Djokovic would be potentially winning this 6-2. He still could. It is two all here, so it's still possible. Big serve into the forehand Nishioka. He mishits that. Tries to run around the back end, actually. That's why. And in the end, just shanks that into almost the crowd. So it is 40-15. Big serve again down the tee from Djokovic. Then goes and kicks that backhand down the middle. Forehand cross court from Djokovic. Backhand long from Nishioka. It is a hold for Novak Djokovic. Four aces so far for the Serb. He nudges in front again, 3-2. Oh, no breaks of serve yet. It's been pretty solid from both. Who's going to crack first? <laughs> Can you imagine if we had, I mean, 
it would be one of the biggest upsets I've seen in a while. Oh, hold on. Is that the uh, trainer? Oh, I thought that might be the medical trainer. It's not. It's not. I don't think anyway. I don't know what he was talking to uh, the officials about. Interesting. But yeah, can you imagine if we had a day <laughs> like today where Creature Cova's lost, right? The reigning Roland Garros champion. I mean, to be fair, she hasn't played a lot of tennis, so it's not a huge upset, but still an upset. She is the reigning champ. Uh, and then imagine if somehow Nishoka beat Djokovic. I mean, that would be one of the biggest days of upsets I've ever witnessed because we also had... Um, I mean, Osaka's not really an upset, to be fair. I think that's a bit of a push. I think Inisimova was is a better clay court player. But yeah. Uh, but Mute is doing good too. I think he can beat Nadal in five sets. Says King of Just. <laughs> oh, King of Just, stop it. Alani says, who do you think will win? Sebastian Corder or John Millman? Corder. I think Corder likes the clay. I think Corder likes the clay. I really do. I think he's quite comfortable on the surface. And I, I think he's someone who I can see him having some success actually in his career on the clay. In what and to what degree? I'm not sure. Backhand cross from Djokovic and then goes down the line. Great depth. He's starting to find his rhythm here, Djokovic. You can tell by the depth in the ground strokes. But it's a short forehand, though. Nishioka comes to the net. Is it a good volley? It's a decent one. Djokovic gets there, though. Oh, that is too good from Novak Djokovic. It was a short forehand from the serve. Nishioka did the right thing. He hit the approach shot and tried to come to the net. But the backhand approach wasn't quite good enough. He hit it hard. Uh, but then the volley, just not quite... Uh, well, it's not short enough, really. He went for a drop volley. Djokovic got then dinks it down the line. This great touch and feel from the Serb. M says, poor team felt really sorry for him yesterday. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. It's tough. He's had a really tough injury. Let's see. Lexi says, good for you. I always use my heart when it comes to Rafa. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Anyway, backhand down the middle from Djokovic. Then goes down the line. Backhand to backhand exchange hit going down the line. Loving that. Djokovic again goes down the line with the backhand. Cross court goes Nishioka. Then goes cross court with the forehand. Drop shot from Djokovic. Oh, that was weird. He went drop shot. He shakes his head. And the reason why is because he was caught in two minds. He was about to go drop shot. And then at the last second, you can see him hesitating, thinking, I don't think this is the right option. And then he kind of just barely hits it and he goes into the middle of the net. It's a really, really interesting uh, choice in the end. 15 all. Big serve down the middle from Nishioka, but it's a let first serve. Guys, as well, 250 of you in the chat. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to hit the like button. It's a big thumbs up button. Doesn't cost anything, I promise. And it really does help us out with the algorithm and helps us to grow. Do appreciate it. So mistake from Nishioka. It's a decent serve into the Djokovic backhand. He goes into out with a return. Nishioka tries to go into in with the forehand, but goes wide into the tram line. So it is 15.30. A little inroad here for the world number one. Can he make it into a gaping hole and get the break? Big serve out wide. Good backhand cross return from Djokovic. Great forehand though from Nishioka down the line. Then he goes and hits the drive forehand into out. Djokovic, though, gets back to neutral. We then goes into him with a forehand. He's on the front foot here. Comes to the net. So lob, though, from Nishioka. Smash opportunity for Djokovic. Let's it bounce. Goes down the middle of the smash. Then goes into out of the forehand. Nishioka just hanging in here. Oh, he hangs in there enough. And there's a fist bump from Nishioka to say, I hung in there. I hung in there. Djokovic goes into the net with the into in forehand set. Almost goes like that to say, OK, fair enough. It was good defense from Nishioka. Djokovic, though, with the smash, and we do know that's the one part of his game, the overhead, which isn't elite, and uh, just struggled with it, went down the middle, and just gave Nishioka an opportunity to get back into the rally. Uh, it was a slice forehand, though. Djokovic still on the still in the ascendancy, but just made the mistake, and normally we expect him to force the opponent into a mistake. Good serve into the backhand down the tee from Nishioka, and goes cross-court with a forehand, backhand from Djokovic. Again, goes cross-court with a forehand, Nishioka. Good backhand from Djokovic down the line, though. Good change of direction from Nishioka, cross-court. 
And then goes long, though, with a second backhand cross. So it is an early, well, I say an early, an early-ish break point opportunity here for Novak Djokovic. Megan Boxer says, let's see if Nishioka can keep his serve against Novak. Well, we're about to find out. He's 30-40 down here. This is it. This is the moment. Can he hold firm? Big serve from Nishioka. Clips the top of the net cord. And just dribbles over. So it is a first serve again. Let first serve. Second serve here for Djokovic to have a look at. Big opportunity here for the serve. Huge opportunity to get the break here. After saving some break points himself earlier on. Oh, no. Oh, it's a double fault. What a way to get broken. Nishioka looks so upset. And he should. It's a breaker serve. He can't believe it. He tries to go big with it. He tries to go big down the down the tee uh, with the second serve into the forehand and just goes wide with it. Unfortunate, really unfortunate, to say the least. Djokovic tries to go down the tee with his own serve, but goes wide. He is 4-2 up here. He's got the break. No, that Djokovic. Can he consolidate the break here? Big opportunity to go 5-2 up here, and surely that would be an unassailable lead in the first set. Big, for big, big backhand return from Nishioka. He's returned the second serves really well today so far. And goes very deep. He hasn't really gone to the corner there. But he's gone very deep with the backhand return. And Djokovic bends low. Tries to get the backhand over the net there. Not able to. Goes into the net. Love 15. Big serve from Djokovic down the tee. Then goes into him with a forehand. On the stretch is Nishioka on the back foot. Somehow though, stayed in there. But Djokovic... Just too good in the end. Goes inside with the forehand. Nishioka tries to slap almost a squash short type forehand down the line and goes into the tram line. So it is 15 all here. And the Serb looking to consolidate that break. Oh, Djokovic goes into the net with the first serve. It will be second serve here for Nishioka to have a look at. Second serve into the forehand. Good forehand return into in. Lob backhand from Djokovic. Cross court backhand from Nishioka. Goes again backhand cross but goes wide. So it is 30 15. Djokovic is able to grind out some of these points here. And that's all he needs. He just needs to win. Doesn't matter how he wins here. Needs to just uh, play some decent tennis. Make sure he's hitting deep on the ground strokes. He's finding some rhythm. Doesn't need to play incredibly well. Unfortunately, finished Yoka to beat him. Just needs to play solid. Solid tennis. Big so that wide from Djokovic. Drop shot, really good drop shot. Although, is it? No, it's not. I thought it was a good one. Nishioka is so quick, though, across the surface. He gets there and then he goes back and cross passes Djokovic with ease. What a get from the Japanese player. I thought Djokovic had done enough, but Nishioka is like the road run the way he got to that ball. Wow. Tell you what. He is absolutely rapid. Good little flick of the wrist there as well. Impressive. Very impressive. King just said, for real though, Nadal will win, but I hope Mute gets a set. I'm a Mute fan. Fair enough. Into win, forehand from Djokovic. Backhand cross as well from Novak. Then goes into out. What a forehand. Oh, that is so good from Novak Djokovic. The into out forehand, a great angle found. I'll tell you what, he's probably playing this thinking, I'll tell you what, this could probably work against Nadal. I, I think this could work. <laughs> That's probably what he's thinking right now. I'll tell you that. Lexi says, I hopefully Corder wins. Yeah, agreed. I like Corder. I do. Big serve out wide from Djokovic. Oh, what a return. What a return from Nishioka. And it gets a clap from Djokovic. It's a serve out wide. From the serve, 
Nishioka on the stretch just whips the forehand down the line for a winner. That is an unbelievable serve. Djokovic doesn't even move. He just claps to say that's too good. Wow, that was special. That really was. Juice here. And of course, he has to break in Ishioka, you feel. And Djokovic says, you want a break point? You're not going to get it. Goes ace down the tee on the juice side. That is incredible serving from Novak Djokovic. Absolute bullet. Nishioka didn't even move. Didn't even move. Was like, too good. Too good. Advantage Djokovic. Goes down the tee again. And goes into out with a forehand. Goes into the net. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. That is surprising, to say the least. King of Just says, imagine if Nishioka goes God mode and wins. Uh, Lexi says, come on, guys. Hit the like for Fazan, Ben, and JG. Yeah, please do remember to smash the like button. 300 of you in the chat. Let's get to 100 likes as soon as possible. Then push on to 200. Uh, but yeah, please do like the video if you haven't done so already. Oh, man, that is too good from Djokovic. He says, well, I just hit an ace on the juice side. I'm going to do exactly the same thing in exactly the same point. And I'm just going to go again, hit that spot. And this time I'm going to go even closer to the line. Ace down the tee again on the juice side. Advantage Novak Djokovic once again. Big serve down the tee from Djokovic. And the call is out. But yeah, uh, let's get to 100 likes. Really does help us out. The algorithm, YouTube, all that good stuff. Doesn't cost you anything. I promise it's a big thumbs up button. Thank you. Appreciate it. C says, hi from Montenegro. No lays the goat. Thanks for joining, C. Forehand cross from Djokovic. Slice from Nishioka. Into out goes Novak on the stretch. Is Nishioka. It's a lob forehand. Smash opportunity for Djokovic at an angle. He misses it. Oh, man. And this is what I mean. This is the only, and I'm not even joking, the only deficiency in Djokovic's game is the overhead. The only one. Absolutely only one. It's a hard overhead because of the angle, I guess, but he should be at least hitting it in. He goes long with the overhead. Oh, man. He even lets it bounce as well. I can't believe he's missed that, to be fair. Norman says Djokovic. Yeah, Djokovic. Norman Osborne from Spider-Man. Oh, Goblin. Green Goblin. Thanks for joining. Lace says, well, Djokovic says, well, Sani, yep. Yeah. Good serve out wide from Djokovic. Then goes cross court with a forehand. Good backhand cross from Nishioka. Great depth, though, on the forehand from Djokovic down the middle. Goes into out again. Forehand from Nishioka, though, goes long. Djokovic, advantage again. Another game point. Siad says, can you just wake up? I don't know. And it says, Nishioka playing really well. Yeah, definitely playing out of his skin at the moment, isn't he? He's trying to anyway. Tudor says, can someone please... Tell me what the chair umpire says in French when the score is 15 or 30. Like English 15 or 30, or thanks. I don't know. Into out goes Djokovic. It's a smash opportunity, is it? No, it doesn't need to. He does hold. He consolidates the break. It's 5 2. And he's one game away from this first set. Really impressive stuff from the world number one. <laughs>
Voxan says, to Nole. A lot of Nole fans in the chat. Nole fam, even. Yeah. Can you just say, come on, Gotovic? <laughs> okay, fair enough. 12 1 4 0 to Djokovic, six or oh, seven winners. Is that right? 12 1 4 0, seven winners? Hmm. Don't know about that. Anyway, 2 5. Nishioka serving to stay in the set. Goes into the net with the first serve. Will be a second serve here for Djokovic to have a look at. Goes oh, into out with the forehand return. Oh, huge forehand into out from Djokovic. Just misses it, though. He really went for that. Backed himself to go big. Just a bit too tight of an angle he's looking for. So it is 15 love. Big serve from Nishioka out wide into the backhand of Djokovic. Comes to the net here, Nishioka. It's a good approach, though, to be fair. And it's the classic play. He goes out wide with the serve. Djokovic goes backhand cross. And then Nishioka goes down the line with the forehand. Just drags Djokovic out. Djokovic on the stretch goes into the net. Second serve here, though, for Djokovic to have a look at at 30 love. Matthew says, that's the issue with night matches at Roland Garros. It can be cold and slow. Mm. Into out goes Nishioka. Forehand down the line from Djokovic. Then goes forehand again down the line. Forehand to forehand exchange here. Backhand into the net, though, from Nishioka. Cross court. Oh, dear. 30-15. Needs to be careful. Needs to make him serve for it here. To have any chance, of course, in this set. Uh, Talaren says Novak looks shaky. Mm. Nah, he doesn't look shaky. He looks fine. Mega Unboxer says if Nishioka wants to have some chances, he must take this game. Agreed. And Siad says Nole versus Stefanos, same final, same winner. It's looking like that could be the case given the bottom half of the draw. Uh, good serve out wide from Nishioka. And Djokovic has a lot of time, almost too much time. And he goes backhand, return long, tries to go down the line with it. So 40-15, and a rare missed return there from Novak Djokovic. Big serve down the tee from the Japanese play. Great return, great depth from Djokovic. Backhand of Djokovic's to the forehand and Ishioka. Backhand cross, great depth from Djokovic. Then absolutely rips the forehand cross, goes drop shot, and Ishioka gets there. But it's a lob from Djokovic. Oh, it lands in water. Lob, water point from the Serb. Unbelievable. What a lob. The drop shot's pretty good, to be fair. But it's not incredible. Nishuka does get there. But he goes down the line, which is the wrong, wrong option. He needs to go cross court there rather than down the line. Because Djokovic's backhand is just rock solid. And uh, the lob is just sublime. 40-30. Good serve out wide from Nishioka. Then goes backhand into in. He just misses the line. Oh, he would have been looking so closely at that. Watching the ball's trajectory, hoping that it was going to drop in. Here we go, Juice. Oh, second serve from Nishioka into Djokovic here. Oh, cross court from Djokovic. Backhand from Djokovic, cross court. Then whips the forehand cross. Nishioka, great depth here. Backhand cross. Oh, what a forehand from Djokovic. This is a great rally. Somehow we're still going great depth from both players. Nishioka goes cross court with the backhand. It's the Nishioka backhand into the forehand of Djokovic. He changes direction, goes down the line, there goes into out. What a forehand from Novak Djokovic. That is unbelievable. He's been hitting that into out forehand really well today, actually. I have to say. And it's definitely a shot to utilize against left-handers just because they're not going to be able to run uh, kind of at the angle and also low um, and kind of whip that forehand, especially because they're going to be more in the backhand corner, right? Because they're looking to hit more forehands, go into out. Um, so that leaves the forehand corner more open. 
which also then means the into out forehands open. Oh, it was a break point opportunity for Djokovic, but he burns it. It was a set opportunity, set point opportunity even, and goes backhand long. So it is juice. Um, Max says, I like night matches, but when the court is so slow and players can't hit through the court, it's not great. Lexi says, if it's Novak versus Stefanos, I'll go for Stefanos. Oh, is that an ace? Oh, it is from Nishioka. Big serve out wide on the juice side. That's a great serve. So it is advantage to the Japanese player. What about if it was Nadal versus Stefanos Tsitsipas, Lexi? As Matthew said, who would he root for? Um, says they're lucky they have the roof or they'd never get any play done. I agree. I agree. Lex says, then if it's Rafa versus Stefanos, it's Rafa. Okay. Okay. Double fault from Nishioka, is it? No, it's a good serve. Well, I thought it was a good serve, but I think it's a let. Let's have a look. What we got? Yeah, it is a let. So it's good first serve out wide from Nishioka. Comes to the net with a forehand cross. And it's a great volley into the corner. That is clutch play from the Japanese player. We don't have a Nishioka button, but if we did, I'd press it. That was really, really good. From this year, I have to say, very, very polished point there from the Japanese player. And he brushes off the set point and says, okay, you have to, I'm going to force you. I'm going to force you to serve for the set. Let's see what you can do. And Djokovic, knowing him, will probably just serve for the set and get it done easily. But at least he's done his job there and made sure that he's forcing him to serve for it. So 5-3 here, serving for the set, Novak Djokovic. Big serve out wide, backhand cross from Nishioka, goes cross court Djokovic, and then goes down the line. Nishioka gets there with the forehand cross. Djokovic goes backhand cross. Oh, and the forehand from Nishioka goes into the net. And he goes, What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Don't ask me. What do I know? Guys, we're at 90 likes. Please remember to smash the like button, please, if you haven't done so already. Come on, let's get to 100 likes by the end of this game, please. Really does help us out. Big serve down the tee from Noah Djokovic. Short return from Nishioka. Huge into in forehand from Djokovic. Smash opportunity. This time puts it away with ease. It's an easier one, to be fair. It's short, but still had to put it away, and he did. So 30 love, and he's two points away here from this first set. But yeah, thank you to those who have already liked the video. Apologies to those who have already liked the video. Of course, thank you. Appreciate it. But those who haven't, please do. Let's help us out. Thank you. 30 love. And big set down the tee from Djokovic. Forehand down the middle from Nishioka. Oh, what a cross. And what a pass from Nishioka. Djokovic goes approach shot cross court with a forehand into the Nishioka backhand. And Nishioka on the stretch. Just hits that backhand return, or that backhand pass, or even so well. Puts all his weight on the right foot and just pivots cross court. Really impressive passing shot, but still has it all to do here at 5 3 and 30 15 down here. Decent return, is it? No, it's not. It's short. It's an in twin backhand. Djokovic says, okay, thank you. Sits up for him. He absolutely rips the forehand cross court. What? A forehand from Novak Djokovic. And he has two set points here. Big serve out wide. Comes to serve volley. And the backhand return from Nishioka goes long. It is the first set to Novak Djokovic here. He gets it done 6-3. And he's on his way here to a straight set victory, it looks like. But we'll see. We'll see. But so far, so good. For Novak Djokovic. <laughs>
fam. Isn't it frustrating when you play great in practice but play poorly during competition? Performing well during competition requires your ability to remain present, focused, believe in yourself when things are going against you, manage expectations in a way that allows you to play freely and always be ready to embrace challenges as opportunities for improvement. A-Peak Tennis is led by a legendary and world-renowned performance psychologist, Dr. Jim Leyer, who helped 17 athletes to become world number ones, including Novak Djokovic, Andre Agassi, Jim Currier, Monica Sellers, and Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. At A-Peak, their mission is to make mental training accessible and affordable so that everyone can receive world-class mental training anytime and anywhere. Now, for less than $6 a month, billed annually, you can start winning more matches and enjoy the game in the process. Best of all, APEG is a freemium app. That means you will have access to everything seven days without putting credit card information. You can purchase the app if you like it, or even if you do not purchase the app, you will still have full access to the resources section where you will receive weekly mental training lessons. AP Tennis is already used by so many top US college teams and top players. The official mental training of Intercollegiate Tennis Association and the United States Professional Tennis Association. With AP Tennis, it does give you the competitive advantage. Yeah, amazing out there. Do check it out, AP Tennis. Um, I know for myself, it's probably going to be quite useful. Someone who just plays club tennis and mentally probably needs a bit of a boost at times. Um, great forehand on there from Nish Joker. Great depth cross court. And Djokovic goes back and into the net. So there's 15 love here for Nish Joker serving. First in the second set. Mega says Nishioka lost two game points. Now he must play his best in order to stand against Novak Djokovic. Yeah, of course, he had a couple of break points in the early on in the first set. And I think it was Lexi said that he needed to take those. He had to take those to have a chance in this match. And that could be the case, but we'll see. It's a new set. It's a new chance for Nishioka here to do something. Drop shot from Djokovic. Oh, what a drop shot. That is incredible. It's a backhand up the line from Nishioka, but it's not got enough depth, hasn't got enough pop on it. And Djokovic gets under that, slices beautifully over the net. That is an incredible drop shot from the world number one, Novak Djokovic. 15 all here in the second set. Big serve down the middle, though, from Nishioka. And the into out forehand goes long. This isn't looking good. This is a really, really important game for him. He has to hold here. King just says, Joker, thumbs up. M says, wonder, will Nishioka keep the intensity for the next set? I'd be surprised. We'll see. We'll see. It's a very good question, Ems. Big serve down the tee from Nishioka. I tell you what, well, he's just, he's heard me. He said, Fazan, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Quality Shot? What are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I can keep this up. And then he goes ace down the T from the juice side, from the ad side, sorry, even. All right, fair enough. 30 all. <laughs> First serve into the net, though, so second serve here. Second serve into the body. Djokovic goes forehand cross. Good backhand from Nishioka, then goes backhand into the net, though. Ah, it's going to be disappointing for him. 30-40, break point opportunity here for Novak Djokovic. Huge chance to get the early break. Mega says maybe Nishikori or Nishikori, Nishioka will be able to make the match more interesting in the next set. Yeah, let's see if Nishioka can do it. Let's see. Well, he has to save a break point here. Big so out wide. Good backhand cross. Djokovic in the rally here, though. Huge forehand from Nishioka. Djokovic somehow sticks with him. Goes backhand cross, backhand cross again. And he doesn't care if he's going into the forehand, Djokovic here. He's trying to pummel Nishioka. Drop shot from the Serb. Nishioka gets there. Goes little dink cross of his own. What a dink cross goal from Djokovic. Oh, that's unbelievable. What a return drop shot. We had a drop shot, then a cross court drop shot dink. 
from Nishioka. And then Djokovic says, no, I can do one better. I'm going to go cross court as well. I'm going to dink it as well. Somehow my wrists are able to get around that. I'm going to go cross court. Good luck trying to get that back. He gets the early break in. No, about Djokovic. He's one love up. What a start to the second set for the Serb. And uh, he's well on his way here. He really is. Nishioka, he's definitely playing some good tennis. But it's just not good enough at the moment. Djokovic starting to turn it on. Colin says, hello from Ghana. Wow, thanks for joining. And says, go Djokovic. Thomas says, who's winning? Uh, it is Novak Djokovic. He's a set and a break up. JG says, 95 likes. Yeah, please smash that like button, please, if you haven't done so already. Let's get to 100 likes as soon as possible. Thank you. Really does help us out. Um, but yeah, thank you to those who have already liked the video. For those who haven't, if you don't mind, it doesn't take you long. Helps us out as well. Do appreciate it. Drop shot from Nishioka. And Djokovic sliding in there, trying to uh, slice that approach into the corner, but slices it long. So it is love 15 here, but a set and a breakup. I mean, I don't know. Do we see Djokovic tripping up? I don't think so. Do we? Nah, nah. surely not. Surely not. And um, says, hey, JG. Yes, hello, JG. Big serve down the tee from the ad side from Novak Djokovic. Ace number seven for the world number one. I have to say, that is... I thought it was the serve out wide from the juice I was his best serve. I think it's that serve. I think it's the serve down the tee from the ad side is his best serve. No doubt. No doubt in my mind now. Big serve out wide. And the thing for him as well is that realistically, he naturally is a right-hander. The easiest serve, anyway, I think generally, is normally the serve out wide on the juice side and the serve down the tee from the ad side because you're rotating that way, right, as a righty. So he's serving into the lefty backhand by doing that. So he's probably loving it, Djokovic, because he's naturally very good at hitting both those serves. Big serve out wide though, on the ad side into the forehand and cross court from Nishioka. Good angle found. Oh, what a point from the Japanese player. Great angle found cross court from Nishioka. Oh, I thought he'd made it. Oh, I thought he'd made the four. How's he missed that? And there's an open court. Just forehand to go down the line. Didn't have to really do too much with it. He set up so nicely, but missing goes long. So 40-15. Big serve down the tee from Djokovic. Forehand down the middle from Nishioka. It's short. Djokovic somehow misses it, though. He goes forehand long. How's he missed that? That is a sitter. Don't You won't see him miss many of those, I'll tell you that. King of Just says, Nishioka just needs some coffee and, and he'll win. A uh, bit tongue-in-cheek there from uh, King of Just. Just an hour gone, and we are already a set and a break up here, so pretty good going, I'd say. Mm, the serve down the tee doesn't hit the spot, so it is a second serve here. 40-30. Second serve into the backhand, into win. What a return from Nishioka. What? What? Where has that come from? It's a second serve into the backhand. It's kicked up. And as I said, and I have been saying throughout the whole stream, Nishioka does not mind taking the ball on the rise. He really doesn't. He's a smaller player like Schwartzman. And like Schwartzman, he likes taking it on the rise because he's so used to it. What a return. What a return winner on the backhand side down the line. We're at juice. Good serve out wide from Djokovic. Then goes down the line with the forehand. It's a smash opportunity. Let's it bounce. Goes smash into the forehand. And Nishioka does get a racket on it, but it goes wide. So it is advantage and consolidation point for Novak Djokovic here. Em says, okay, this match really is over now. It's not over till it's over. Em, it's not over till it's over. I wonder how many times Novak Djokovic has lost a match, a best of five match after being a set and a breakup. Be interested to know. Big serve down the tee from the ad side. Goes huge on the into out forehand. Great depth. Somehow, though, Nishioka manages to hit a great forehand in response. 
clips the baseline. Djokovic looks at the surface to say, I think that was a dodgy bounce, and goes into the net. So it is juice. Let's have a look. Mm, I think it looked okay. I just think he was surprised about how deep it was. But I don't know. I mean, what do I know? What do I know? Well, first serve into the net. It will be a second serve here for Nishioka to have a look at. Big opportunity here for Nishioka to open up a break point after what looked like it would be a very comfortable service game. Potentially be a bit of a troublesome one here for the sub. Good backhand cross from Nishioka. Great angle. Then goes down the line. What? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is really impressive from Nishioka. Goes cross court with a backhand. Great angle. Found somehow as well because it was, it was great depth on the shot from Djokovic. And then steps in and crunches the backhand down the line. Wow. That is crazy. Advantage Nishioka. <laughs> Simri, I'm not going to read that comment, but that's quite funny, actually. Thank you. Thank you for saying I look nice. I appreciate it. Advantage in this yoga. Second serve here. Break point opportunity. Oh, no way has he just done that. How? He's got second serve ace down the tee. That is ridiculous. He's gambled. He's gambled. That's a first serve, is it? Yeah, it is. It is. It's a first serve. He's hit on the second serve. He's hit that serve so well throughout the whole match. And he's just said, you know what? I'm going to back myself here. I'm a break point down. Why not? Why not? And he's done a Daniel Medvedev and it's worked. Juice. Unbelievable serve. Goes out wide. Just misses it though. Second serve. Let's see. Does he go for a first serve again? He won't, I don't think. I think he'll go for the big kick serve out wide. I don't think he's going to do it twice. Let's see. Yeah, he doesn't. It's a good serve that wide. Forehand cross from Nishioka. Backhand cross from Djokovic. Backhand of Djokovic into the forehand Nishioka. And down the middle, though, goes Djokovic. Backhand up the line from the Japanese player. Whips the forehand cross court on the stretch, goes Djokovic. Cross court again. Nishioka on the back foot. And he has to go long. He just succumbs to the pressure, the depth, the angle from Djokovic. Just too good. On the backhand side, way too good. King of Justice, Fazan, how often do you play tennis? Um, normally about once a week, to be fair. If I'm lucky, I'll play two or three times a week. But I used to play a lot more. I don't play as much anymore after I basically have a little one. I was born only a few months ago. Um, but yeah, about once a week. Good serve out wide from Djokovic. Goes in to win. Slice from Nishioka long. And Djokovic does hold. He consolidates the break. It's a roar from the Serb. He knows that was an important hold. And he does consolidate the break. And you feel like that could be a very, very important hold in the sense that for Nishioka, is the door now closed? Is he going to get another opportunity like that? I don't know. <laughs>
Big set that wide from this Joker. Djokovic goes into the tram lines. 15 all. Yeah, he shakes his head. Djokovic says, How have I missed that return? On the best returner that's ever walked the earth. Probably right, to be fair. He's, he's saying to the umpire, That guy, he's standing up. Tell him to sit down. He's annoying me. <laughs> Shouldn't be standing up anyway or moving around. The thing is, it's funny because everyone wants that, but we don't, we don't always get what we want, do we? So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. If I had to say a percentage, I'd say we've got 70% chance of seeing that. Oh, backhand cross from Nishioka clips the baseline, then goes forehand approach. Oh, he did so well. Oh, he did so well, Nishioka. He'll be so disappointed. He goes forehand approach, goes into win, doesn't really hit the corner. Djokovic just hits like a block backhand because it's right at him. He doesn't have any any time really to react it's an easy easy smash for nishioka to put away and he goes wide with it how's he missed that 15 30 second serve here as well for Djokovic to have a look at after saving a break point it looks like he could have another chance to break again good backhand on the line from Djokovic. oh and nishioka on the stretch goes wide with the backhand 15 40 is too Double break opportunities here for Novak Djokovic. I tell you what, Nishioka will be thinking, I have not been clinical at all. And if he had been, it could be, could have been a very different match so far. Back down the middle from Nishioka and goes down the line with a forehand. Good forehand from Djokovic, cross court, then tries to go up the line. Oh, he goes for it. He makes the decision to change direction. Doesn't pay off, though. Goes into the tram lines. So it is 30-40. One break point burnt. But he's got another opportunity here. M says, Jamie, I want that too. But I also don't want that. M's, are you a Djokovic or Nadal fan? I'm assuming Djokovic. Is that right? I don't know. Big said down the tee from Nishioka. Then goes cross-court backhand short. Forehand from Djokovic cross-court. And goes backhand cross as well. Great depth from Djokovic until he goes way too deep and goes long. Spoke too soon. Juice. So good. Really good from Nishioka there. Save two break points. I'm impressed. Uh, Jamie says, Fazan, your thoughts on today, on Nadal today? I will, uh, yeah, I'll talk about that actually after this game. Second serve here from Nishioka. Goes into the backhand of Djokovic down the middle. Backhand up the line from Nishioka. Then goes forehand into the net. Oh, it's broken down massively there, that forehand. He almost just looks rushed. It's difficult. I almost feel like he's not able to keep up a certain level or the level that we've seen in glimpses and for large periods, to be fair, in the first set, for, you know, two or three sets, I think he's struggling to maintain it, I think. Seeing it in spots, but it's difficult. Tennis is a hard game, I'll tell you that. Big serve out wide from Nishioka. Good backhand return from Djokovic, is it? It's not good enough. Nishioka with a huge forehand right into the Djokovic forehand corner. Goes into out with it. It's a sweet, sweet forehand. He has struck that so well. Beautifully placed. Djokovic doesn't even move. He's like, fair enough, too good. And puts his head up in disappointment. I think he's thinking, you know what, the return could have been a bit better. Good return, though, into in on the backhand. Then goes down the line with the backhand. Slice from Nishioka. Down the middle, Djokovic goes forehand down the line. Then goes drop shot. Nishioka comes to it. Slides. Oh, what a backhand. Has he made it? Has he made it? So he slid and went, oh, he doesn't make it. How? Let's have a look. He slides and tries to dink it cross court for a drop shot winner. He's, oh, he's just missed it. Oh, he just missed that. So unfortunate. Yeah, Djokovic goes, Phew. so I tell you what, that was close. It was close. But it's another break point for Djokovic. Nishioka has been there or thereabouts for parts of this. He's had opportunities Look at that, how many break points he's had. 
four break point opportunities taken at zero. Back out in the middle from the Japanese player, then goes cross court into the net. It's another break. It's another break for Novak Djokovic. What does that mean? What does that mean? Tell me. That means that this set is pretty much done. Tell you what, may as well get prepared for the third set, Nishioka, because this set is done and dusted. I'll tell you that now. i tell you that now. Novak Djokovic breaks yet again. He's a double break up. Here's three love up. Are we going into the bakery for this set? I'll tell you what. We could be. <laughs> James says, Fazan, your thoughts on Nadal today? Uh, he gambled because there's no danger in it from his opponent. Yeah, I thought he played pretty well. I think um, the drop shot was working quite nicely. I thought he just looked solid today. I, I I didn't think he looked incredible. I mean, he volleyed pretty well at times as well, which is great to see. He moved okay as well. There wasn't any signs of the foot issue. I think overall, like a good performance. I mean, I, I don't think we're going to see him play incredible tennis. I think, you know, Thompson isn't a world beater. And it was a good first round match, I think, for him to have, to be honest with you. James says, what's your finishing shot? What do you mean? What do you mean by what's your finishing shot? Do you mean as in what's my favorite shot playing tennis for me personally? Or is, there, is that a different question? Have I completely misinterpreted it? Let me know. Um, says, yay, 100 likes. Yeah, 100 likes. Thank you, everyone, for liking the video. Please remember to smash the like button, please, if you haven't done so already as well. Thanks to those who have. Let's get to 200 likes as soon as possible. Thank you. Big sell that wide from Djokovic. He takes it on the volley, actually, the dry volley there, the forehand. And Nishioka just goes long, though, with a defensive backhand. It is 15 love, for, and it is a set and two breaks up here, Novak Djokovic. You just feel like it's one way traffic from here now. Can Nishioka provide some sort of fight back? We'll see. Oh, great. Serve out wide from Djokovic. The forehand return from Nishioka cross court. Djokovic says, I'm going to go into out with that. And goes into out with the forehand. And it's another winner. Goes behind Nishioka. Really impressive from Novak Djokovic. James says, in terms of draw, who's got the tougher route to the quarters, Rafa or Novak? I think Rafa, personally. Uh, especially, I mean, he could potentially face, what, Felix? It's a tough one. Hatchinov as well, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? Yeah, I think he's got a tougher route, personally. But, I mean, it just depends, right? Because we thought he'd have a really tough uh, route to the Australian Open final, and then some seeds fell uh, kind of in the right way for him, and it helped. So, like, Zverev lost to Shapovalov and, you know, whoever else. So, it, it does make a difference when that happens. So, we'll see. That's what I'm saying. It's tough to know exactly what happens, and you know, we can talk about predicted routes and, and everything else. But as we've seen on the women's side, which, okay, yeah, is a bit more temperamental. Seeds can fall left, right and center. Oh, really good from Djokovic. Targeting the Nishioka forehand. Going hard at the forehand side. Nishioka breaking down, goes short with it. And Djokovic goes cross court into the open court. 40 love and a chance for a game to love here. And to consolidate the break here, Novak Djokovic, it's been a really polished performance so far from the Serb. Goes into the body, forehand down the middle. Djokovic goes into out. Oh, it's a beautiful winner again from the Serb. He does hold to love. <laughs> Yeah, very, very impressive from Novak Djokovic. He is not only just held to love there, but consolidated the second break. So he's four love up here. Can he bagel Nishioka? I don't know. Can he? Can he? You tell me. Um, says, I'm a Rafa fan. Okay. Jamie, let me know what you thought about what did he mean by what's your finishing shot? With that comment uh, before, please. I want to know. I'm interested. Nishioka goes... Oh, he goes along with the one plus shot on the forehand side. Love 15 here. Just seems to be... Yeah, just seems to be leaking errors here. 
a lot more than we saw in the first set. Mentally, it's quite tough, right? When you've had a lot of opportunities, you haven't taken them. But I tell you what, that's a great play from the Japanese player. Goes out wide with the serve. Djokovic goes cross-court with the backhand, or actually tries to go down the line with the backhand return. Nishioka does really well. Gets across quickly. Goes backhand cross. Djokovic not able to get that ball back. It was a really good backhand. 15 all. James says, this is the kind of opponent for Nole that even if he was two love up, Novak would still be odds on fave. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. A hundred percent. I think he'd be odds on fave against most players, I think. Apart from obviously like an... I think the only players that he wouldn't be maybe Nadal. Who else? Who else? Medvedev. I mean, it depends on the surface, but let's say they're playing on the, on the opponent's favorite surface. Maybe Sitsipas. Zverev, that's Alcaraz, maybe five of those. Volley from Nishioka. Oh, it's a backhand volley, though. <laughs> oh, he's not going to put that away. He's too short, unfortunately. He jumps for it, goes wide with a backhand volley. It's really good from Djokovic. Great defensive work. Just slices the lob, actually, and uh, makes it tough for him. Uh, Jamie says, what's your favorite shot when you're playing? Okay. Um, good forehand on the line from Djokovic. Great forehand cross from Nishioka. It's a lob backhand from Djokovic. Oh, and Nishioka tries to go for the forehand. The dry forehand is such an easy one to put away as well. And he just, he rushes it and he takes it on the rise, but just goes wild with it and goes wide. It is a double break point opportunity here for Novak Djokovic to go a triple break up. And that would mean a chance to bagel Nishioka here. And that would be embarrassing. Goes into the body. Djokovic goes cross court. It's too good. Oh, it's too good. Oh, it's just regulation stuff from Novak Djokovic. It's too good. <laughs> So if you're talking about single shot, um, then I think my I think forehand down the line is my favourite shot. Um, I love a drop shot as well at times, but yeah, forehand down the line, and I love returning. So I don't know if returning counts as a shot, but if it does, um, then I love returning. It's funny because uh, I always feel like, obviously, and we're talking about club level here. This is like not very high standard, but um, like I feel like returning has always been quite natural, but. Serving as well. Um, yeah, when it's on, it's pretty good, but it can be a little bit inconsistent, that's all. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a tough, tough life playing tennis, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I was supposed to play, actually, tonight. I wasn't even supposed to do this stream. I was supposed to play a championship doubles match. So we have, like, our club championships. There's the first round of it. I went to the singles and doubles. And I was, we were supposed to play doubles tonight, but it was raining a lot. So, uh, and JG and Ben have done a lot of streaming. They're like, if you, if you want, if you're happy to jump on, then jump on. And I was like, yeah, why not? It's raining. Got nothing better else to do. Mega says, I'm a Rafa fan. And if there is something that I learned from him, it's to respect everyone. And today I have to show respect to both of them for trying, I guess. Yeah, I appreciate it. Here you go, Jokic, five love up. A chance to bagel Nishioka here. That would be incredible for the second set after how well the Japanese player played in the first set and the return from Nishioka goes long. The in to win forehand. Um, a Peak Tennis says, uh, Novak is so mentally tough once he gets ahead like this. Not always easy to play ahead as it is easy to let up a bit. Novak pushes even harder. Tough to do. That's very true. You can get complacent, right? Or has he made that Djokovic, that backhand on the line? No, he hasn't. Good serve out wide. And opened up the backhand down the line. Does not to go into him with a forehand. Goes backhand up the line. Just misses it. Just, though. Not by much. 15 all. But, yeah, it's a really good point. A really good point uh, that you make. And, yeah, I mean, a lot of players, they can get a little bit complacent. And then they, you know, they concede a break back. I mean, it's so often, isn't it, that people get broken 
or sorry, that people break and then they get broken next game. It happens quite a lot. Um, oh, Novak goes into the net though with a backhand, 15-30. I'm saying ooh as if he's not a triple break up, but he is. Big serve down the tee on the ad side from Novak. He's hit that serve so well. Nishioka does manage to make the return, but it's a huge forehand into the open court from Djokovic cross court. And it is a clean winner for the serve. 30 all brushes off any suggestions of a break point opportunity. Matthew says Novak is not like Sviontek. He doesn't go for bagels. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. He does. I'll tell you, he likes a bagel, Novak. Prefers a breadstick. Well, that's a bagel, eh? Uh, Vinka says, Idem or Nole? Yeah, well, he's doing a pretty good job right now, isn't he? Big serve into the back of Nishioka on the juice side. Good forehand on the line from Novak. Great forehand from Nishioka, though, down the line. Really good. And Djokovic slices the forehand into the net. So 30 40. And that does mean a break point opportunity here for Nishioka. Five love down. Can you imagine if you won this set in this Yoko? It would be like the best comeback I've ever seen in a set. I'm not even joking. I don't know why I'm saying I'm not even joking. I think that would be the best comeback anyone's ever seen. Oh, has he made it? He's missed it. I think he's missed that, Djokovic. Good serve out wide. Short ball. Tries to go into out with a forehand, Djokovic. He goes wide. So he does get broken here. And that does mean... Nishioka gets one of the breaks back. He's still a double break down, though. He'll serve to stay in the set. Nishioka Djokovic doesn't want to get a bagel, as Matthew said. He doesn't want it, apparently. Ah. Into in forehand from Nishioka. Then goes down the line with the forehand. Forehand from Djokovic has Nishioka stretching. And he goes along the Japanese player. So it is love 15 here. Matthew says, Novak is not like Sviontek. He doesn't go for bagels. Yeah, you read that already. Thank you. Lex says, come on, Novak. What happened to Yoshi? No score. Oh, no. He's, he's on the board. He's on the board. Uh, Velasco Polos says, Djokovic is number two in the world. I'm assuming you think Stefanos Tsitsipas is number one in the world. Oh, what a backhand return from Djokovic. Serve out wide from Nishioka. Djokovic drives the backhand up the line. What a backhand from Novak Djokovic. Great return from the Serb. Sam says, at least my prediction for the second set is happening. Fair enough. Love 30. Is he, oh, is he an ace there? I'm pretty sure. Is he? Yes, he has. That is a really good serve out wide from the juice side. As a lefty, that flat serve out wide, so effective. 15-30, great placement. Solid. Solid stuff. And he goes, okay, it's number two's coming up. And this time goes down the T on oh on the oh, that is ridiculous. On the ad side, great serving from Nishioka. Back to back aces, 30 all. And goes out wide. Djokovic though swats it away and says it's long. And it is long, so second serve. Second serve into the backhand. Djokovic goes down the middle with the backhand. Backhand up the line from Nishioka. Backhand cross from Djokovic. Great depth. And the forehand from Nishioka goes wide. So it is a 30-40 here. And it is a set point for Novak Djokovic to breadstick Nishioka in this second set. Oh, huge serve, though, down the tee. That is unbelievable. That is absolutely ridiculous. What a serve down the tee from Nishioka. Another ace. Incredible stuff. Oh, good backhand up the line from Nishioka. Whips the forehand down the line as well. Then goes again cross-court with the forehand. Great backhand from Djokovic. All hand down the line as well. Whips it cross court. Drop shot from Djokovic. Oh, it's too good from Novak. Way too good 
beautiful drop shot, I have to say. Really, really good. Um, I have to say, it's just been really good from Djokovic, the drop shot. It's something that actually at the start of the clay court season wasn't actually firing that well, but he hasn't hadn't played a lot of matches as well, to be fair to him, before the start of the clay court swing. Uh, but as the clay court swing has gone on, it's just been sublime. Drop shot from Nishioka goes into the net, and that means Novak Djokovic takes this second set, and he takes it easily, 6-1. It, he does go to the bakery, but not for a bagel, for a breadstick. He gets it done, Novak Djokovic, and that means a Djokovic bust. <laughs> Yeah, Sam says, at least my prediction for second set is happening. Achuma says, being one, number one, is attitude in court is not impressing. Nadal is the best. Okay. Well, 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 at the moment, I'm a Nadal fan, but Djokovic is the one, number one. Um, Casey says, so there's only one match right now because they only have one roof. I think so, yeah. Murphy says, raining on the other courts. Maybe these goats has a plan to put up a bakery when they retire. Very, very good. Yep, I agreed. I agreed. Isn't it frustrating when you play great in practice but play poorly during competition? Performing well during competition requires your ability to remain present, focused, believe in yourself when things are going against you, manage expectations in a way that allows you to play freely and always be ready to embrace challenges as opportunities for improvement. AP Tennis is led by a legendary and world-renowned performance psychologist, Dr. Jim Leyer who helped 17 athletes to become world number ones, including Novak Djokovic, Andre Agassi, Jim Currier, Monica Sellers, and Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. At APEAK, their mission is to make mental training accessible and affordable so that everyone can receive world-class mental training anytime and anywhere. Now, for less than $6 a month, build annually, you can start winning more matches and enjoy the game in the process. Best of all, APEAK is a premium app. That means you will have access to everything for seven days without putting credit card information. You can purchase the app if you like it, or even if you do not purchase the app, you will still have full access to the resources section where you will receive weekly mental training lessons. AP Tennis is already used by so many top US college teams and top players. The official mental training of Intercollegiate Tennis Association and the United States Professional Tennis Association. With AP Tennis, it does give you the competitive advantage. Yeah, do you check out AP Tennis? Um, really, really interesting uh, app as you can see have coached some incredible players, uh, some of the legends of the game, uh, into, yeah, some inc incredible victories. So mental, the mental side, and I've talked to quite a few athletes from not just tennis, but um, other sports as well. And all the pros say that the mental side is at least 90% of uh, what it takes really to be a success, to be successful. 90% of, uh, of it is the mental side. 10% is skill. And training and everything else, etc. Mike says, I thought Susan Longer had a roof as well. Yeah, I think it does. Djokovic here, 30 love up. I'm pretty sure it does, actually. Uh, the forehand from Nishioka, great depth into the corner. Djokovic goes along with the forehand, 30 15. Okay, he says, I think they are adding a roof to Longland, but not yet. Hmm, let's have a look at that. Yeah, because most tournaments, even for example, what was the most recent one? Madrid had two roofs, right? Pretty sure, and that's just a smaller tournament. So it's surprising that Roland Garros doesn't. They're one of the kind of latest, I think, to kind of yeah get get forward in the technological advancements of roofs. You know, good rally here, developing great backhand from Nishioka. Great angle. He's been pretty good at finding those angles on the backhand Nishioka cross court. Obviously, he hasn't done it consistently enough, which is why his two sets of love down. And yeah, 6 3 6 1. Djokovic serving to nudge in front in this third set and get it done in straight sets here. It's been a very solid performance. Eight aces for him so far, 71% for 
first serves in, but 70% of points won behind the first serve is a more impressive stat. He's been very, very good as Novak Djokovic today. I think for a first round anyway, we're not expecting him to play anywhere near his top level. We're expecting him to get it done. And I think that's what he's been doing. He's uh, definitely been good. Can you a 7-6 Nishihuka? Fair enough. Second serve, or first serve, sorry, even down a tee from Djokovic. Goes down the middle of the forehand. Nishioka as well goes down the middle of the backhand. Great depth. Oh, but in the second backhand, he's got an opportunity. It's a short ball from Djokovic. Nishioka steps up, goes backhand long down the line. Not good from him. And he kind of puts his head up in frustration to say, how have I missed that? 40-30 and game point here for Novak Djokovic. Who says, Ada Nole. Is true? Gluten-free from Novak. <laughs> Very good. Gluten-free breadstick from Novak. Good forehand from this year. Good depth, but Djokovic is too good going cross-court with the forehand. Still in the rally, though, here. Down the line goes Djokovic. Lob backhand to give himself some time. Oh, and Nishioka just, oh, just completely goes wild with the forehand. Tries to go into him with it and just, I mean, sprays that forehand. That is crazy to see. I have to say, Nishioka will be disappointed. He'll be really disappointed there. Should have done a lot better uh, with that, that's for sure. Uh, Lubia says Adanole and Matthew says gluten free. Yeah, yeah, we've gone over that. Thank you everyone as well for tuning in. How many likes? Let's have a look. 116. That's all good. Please remember to smash the like button, please, if you haven't done so already. Uh, Re does help us out. Thank you to those who have already liked the video. We do appreciate it. It's been great. Oh, look at this winner. Oh, no, I wanted to see that again. They had the winner's profile up. That's really cool. I wanted to see that again. Bring it back up, please. But it's gone. Gone forever. Maurice says, Idem or Nole. I think it was nine winners on the forehand for Djokovic. Cross court tennis says, predictions for the third set for Zan. Ooh. Hmm. 6-2 Novak. And in fact, we should probably have predictions. So why don't you guys give me your predictions, please? <laughs>Yeah, so please give me your predictions as well for this third set. I've gone 6-2 Novak. Is that even possible? Yeah, it is. Oh, drop shot from Novak into the net, and he kind of drops his racket in frustration. Uh, smiles to himself, shakes his head, and says, what am I doing? That's the second time he's done it today. He's just been a little bit hesitant with it. Not happy at all. Not happy at all. Just spins his racket, slams on the floor, says, what am I doing? It's not the right option. Good serve down a tee from Nishioka. Then goes into out of the forehand. Whipped forehand from Djokovic into the backhand corner of Nishioka. Then goes into win with the forehand. Great backhand from Nishioka defensively. Still in this rally. Oh, but second backhand goes long. Did so well to stay in there until that point. Just not able to stick with Djokovic for long enough. Doesn't have that added bit of quality that he needs, unfortunately. Matthew says Novak was on less than 30% second serve points one. Now he's on 40%. It's an issue. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter too much when he made 72% of first serves in, right? That's the thing. That, that's the thing. But I, I get it. I mean, Nishioka, I think, has also returned the second serve well as well, I have to say. Um, but yeah, something that he'll look at, but he won't mind. Uh, I mean, that, that would do... If he has these serving stats for the whole of the first week, he'll get through very easily. Gurdy TV says Nole. Yes, Nole is playing, and he's got two break points here. Nishioka with a mistake into the net. 15-40 here. And the Japanese player, he might be getting taken to the bakery again if he's not careful. I said 6-2. I think I want to revise my prediction. Big serve down the tee from the Japanese player, then goes into win. Great depth. Djokovic though sticks with him, goes lob backhand down the middle. Great depth. Into win goes Nishioka, very short. Backhand cross from Djokovic, then goes drop shot. Nishioka does get there. Dinks it down the line. Djokovic gets there, though. Goes for the lob. Has he made it? Oh, he's just gone long with the lob backhand. Oh, he kicks the surface to say should have done better there. And he burns one break point early in this third set. A chance for another, though.
Big serve down the tee from Nishioka. Good forehand return from Djokovic. Goes down the line with the forehand. He's what a volley. I think he's made it. Oh, what a backhand volley from Novak. He does break. He's way on his way to the second round here. Djokovic is marching on. He breaks early in this third set. I tell you what, it's one-way traffic here. And the one number one is making it look very easy. Easy as you like. Can you consolidate the break? And the answer is probably yes, isn't it? M says, who's normally playing next? It's a good point. Uh, I would have had it in my bracket. Who is he playing next? Good serve down the tee from Djokovic. Then goes backhand. There's a lob backhand from Djokovic. Lob backhand from Nishioka. Djokovic goes dry forehand into the net. <laughs> oh, I love it. Moon ball to moon ball. And uh, the into out forehand from Djokovic into the net, crazy. Alexis says, come on, Novak. Let me have a look. I can have a look at that. Let's see. Who is he playing? Come on. Come on, let's have a look. Guys, well, if you haven't done so already, please remember to smash the like button, please. Do appreciate it and do subscribe if you're new. Thank you to everyone for joining on the stream. Really do appreciate it as always. Great to have you all on, of course. It's uh, from Novak. We're into the rally here. Backhand. Lob from Nishioka. He's trying to make Djokovic make a mistake and he makes another mistake. How is that working? He's moonballing Djokovic and it's somehow working. Djokovic goes dry forehand into out. Takes it on the rise and again goes long. Oh, mate. What am I watching? That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. How has he missed that? Love 30. Surely you can't keep on doing it and getting away with it in the Shikoka. Surely not. Oh, it's a great serve volley from Novak. Slides, hits that backhand volley. Oh, great drop volley. That is just beautiful. Love it. So Djokovic is probably playing Alex Morkan next. Is Mor did Morkan win today? Although I say that he's playing him. But I don't know if they played because of the rain. So let me I need to have a look at that as well. All to look at. Let's have a quick look. Did he even play today, Alex Morkan, though? Because the rain is going to hold up a lot of the kind of lower-ranked players, right? Because they might have to end up playing two matches in a day, which isn't ideal. Oh, backhand from Djokovic, cross-court. Nishok had an opportunity. He goes down the line. He takes the risk, goes into the net. 30 all. That was a chance for an a break point opportunity, a break back opportunity for Nishioka, but he wasn't good enough to open it up. Disappointing. Disappointing. 30 all. And a first up goes into the net. Uh, so Morkan Korea is supposed to be after, well, it's supposed to be at 10 o'clock. That's not happening because it's been suspended all the rest of the matches. So uh, unless they play on here, which I'd be very surprised. The slice drop shot from Djokovic goes into the net. So, yeah, he'll play the winner of Molkan and... Well, I think Molkan and Korea, but I think it'll be Molkan. 30-40, it's a... Oh, here we go. <laughs> break point opportunity for Nishioka. Some of the crowd cheering on Nishioka. They want him to get the break back. They want him to get it back onto serve. They're like, come on, we've paid money to watch this match. Let's make it somewhat competitive. Big serve out wide. Good return from this year. A huge into out forehand from Djokovic. Then goes in to win and says, you know what? You can hope for the break point. You can hope for the break back, but you're not going to get it. And that is clutch play from Novak Djokovic. Huge into out forehand. Huge into in forehand. Easy as you like. Novak Djokovic's wife in the crowd just oh well, yeah yeah he's getting it done easy as you like 12 forehand winners for Djokovic three for Nishioka and the forehand return from Nishioka goes long so advantage Djokovic he kicks the red dirt in frustration Nishioka saying what is going on and look at that 
He's only taken one out of the six break points. Oh dear. Here we go. Second game point here for Djokovic. Big serve down a T. Goes huge with the forehand in to win. Good backhand cross though from this year. Good depth. Then goes up the line with Trice. He clips the baseline going down the middle. And Djokovic hits like a lob backhand. It's a lob backhand from Nishioka. Oh, and Djokovic is getting moonballed and it's working. How is this working? I was just thinking, surely he's not going to miss that again. This time it's a shorter moonball from Nishioka on the backhand side. And he tries to drive the forehand again into out. And he goes into the net. It's almost like he hasn't got round it enough. Looking at it from the replay and behind him. But it might just be the angle. Juice. What do I mean, why am I trying to coach Novak Djokovic? One of the best players to ever play tennis. Right, second serve here for Nishioka to have a look at. Big opportunity here again for the Japanese player to open up a break point. Oh, it's a good second serve. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's not just a good second serve. He's hit a first serve there. That's over 100 miles per hour, that second serve from Djokovic. And it's right in the corner. Really impressive. He has been backing himself on serve, and it's definitely paid dividends. That's for sure. Here we go. Advantage Novak Djokovic. Big serve down a T. Oh, and the back can return does go wide. So he had a bit of trouble there, but two big serves get him out of trouble. Who does that remind you of? Roger Federer of old? I think it does. And I'll tell you what, his serve has become such a weapon. It's really great to see he's evolved so much with that service motion. It's been great to see. And he is three love up here and he consolidates the break. I got trigger happy with the, with the uh, wrong button, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> M says 6-3 Novak is a prediction. And CS says Molkan or Korea. Yeah, yeah Molkan or Korea. Indeed, indeedy, indeedy, indeedy. Who's also a footballer who plays for Everton. Uh, Rade says, Atmosfera nole. Okay. Casey says, Idemo nole. Hashtag 21. Number 21. So obviously, yeah, looking to win his 21st slam and equal or tie up the Grand Slam race with Rafael Nadal, of course, after he won the Australian Open. It's all tied and all to play for. Right, three love up here for Novak Djokovic as they show the Eiffel Tower in the distance in Paris. Nishioka, can he win a game? That's now what I'm looking at. I'm looking, I said 6 2, but I, I'm looking at this thinking, I'm not really sure. Uh, into in from Nishioka, good backhand from Novak, great depth down the middle, clips the baseline. And then cross court from the lefty, Nishioka goes down the line with the forehand, looped forehand, cross court from Djokovic. Great angle found on the backhand cross, then goes down the line, comes to the net, and the, well, the approach is good enough. With a backhand up the line, Nishioka on the stretch tries to pass him cross court. Doesn't manage to get that ball over the net. Breaks down the backhand side. Love 15. I like that from Djokovic. I like the intent to come to the net. Especially behind the backhand. Gary says, hey everyone, just got back. I see the goats are doing just fine on day one. Yeah, so far so good, that's for sure. Good second serve, and Djokovic goes backhand wide with the return. So it is 15 all. And he'll breathe a slight sigh of relief, Nishioka, to say, well, at least I've won one point. So that means that I am at least somewhat on in this game, that's for sure. Are we hoping not to get broken again here? Good return, though, great return. From Djokovic, great depth cross court. Good backhands from Nishioka. Both down the line into the Djokovic backhand. Djokovic defensively doing really well here. Oh, and then goes down the middle with a forehand Djokovic. Nishioka tries to go into our opens up on that forehand. And goes wild, sprays it wide. 
it's the right option actually to go behind Djokovic. Just try to go way too close to the line in the end. Misses it by quite a distance. 15.30. Oh, that is a double fault from Nishioka. He's going to be really disappointed with that. He's going to be extremely disappointed with that because uh, he got broken in the first set by double faulting and he could have just well, given himself the same fate in this game. He does have a chance to save two break points here, but it's going to be tough, especially with the second serve. He looks so disappointed after the first serve in the net. Surely he's not going to double fall again, is he? No, he doesn't. He goes into the backhand of Djokovic, then goes down the middle. Djokovic goes down the line with the backhand. Just great depth here from the serve. You can see just looking to make the mistake or looking to induce the mistake even from the Japanese player defensive slice from Djokovic. Oh, it's not good enough, though. There's defensive slice on the forehand side. A bit passive from Djokovic there. And in the end, Nishioka puts away the in-twin forehand. Way too good from the Japanese player. But he's going to have to play like that again uh, in the next point, that's for sure. Sam says, who's played better today, Fazan Raff or Djokovic? It's tough to say, to be honest. Um, probably about the same, I'd say. I think both just got their job done. I think they're both going to get it done in straight sets. Depends. I think if Djokovic wins a six love, then you'd probably say Djokovic, right? Because Nadal won two, two, and two. If he wins three, one, and love, then it's probably a better performance, I'd say. Nishioka is probably slightly better than Thompson, I'd say, as well. Or oh, the forehand from Djokovic that goes into the net and he burns another break point and he looks to himself to say, how have I missed that? That was a missed opportunity, and I think it was. Two break points saved. Sam says six love is her prediction for the third set. Interesting. Very interesting. Here we go, juice. Oh, first serve clips the top of the net, cord and goes wide. So second serve here. Djokovic will surely be looking to cash in here. Backhand goes into out with the return, then goes cross court. Nishioka whips the forehand cross court. Djokovic goes up the line with the backhand, and then the backhand cross from the Japanese player goes long. He hits his racket in slight frustration to say, How I missed that? Advantage, no about Djokovic. Another break point opportunity. Gary says, Ems, hello. Break point number three. Big serve down the tee. Djokovic goes down the middle with a forehand and goes into out. Good forehand from Nishioka. Good from Djokovic, though. Great depth. Not taking huge risks here, Novak Djokovic. You're sticking with Nishioka. Trying to look for an opening. Oh, great depth from both, though. Moving side to side. Slice from Djokovic. Defensively goes long. I tell you what, Nishioka played out of his skin there. Moving Djokovic side to side. Great depth, great angles. Djokovic in the end made the mistake. I think that pretty much signals and signifies how well Nishioka had to play in that point to stick with him. In the end, though, had some success. So we're back to juice. Three break points saved so far for the Japanese player. Big serve goes into the net from Nishioka. Second serve here for the Japanese player to deliver down to Novak Djokovic. Djokovic goes cross court with the forehand. Again, goes down the line this time, though. And the forehand from Nishioka goes long. And he looks to say, Oh, man, what am I doing? It's another break point opportunity for Novak Djokovic. Surely he takes it the full time of asking. Surely. Advantage Djokovic. So a wide good return though, cross court. Great depth from both these players. I'd like to see it. Slice from Djokovic into the Nishioka backhand. He slices as well. Djokovic again makes the mistake. Goes backhand into the net. 
he claps. I don't know if he's clapping to say well played or clapping to say or just hitting his racket in frustration. Yeah, intelligent play from Nishioka slices the backhand slice with a backhand slice in return. Slice. Slice with slice. Big serve down the tee from Nishioka. Backhand from Djokovic cross court. Wins the rally here. Great forehand cross from Djokovic. And goes into it. He's dictating here. And yeah, way too good. Nishioka just too passive there. But to be fair, it was the return that set it up. He just was on the back foot throughout the whole point. Really good from Djokovic. Great forehands. Game duration has been over seven minutes already. Crucial, crucial game here for Nishioka. He has to hold here. Otherwise, he may as well kiss this match goodbye. Going a double breakdown, you feel. It's another double break point opportunity here for Novak Djokovic. Second serve into the backhand of Djokovic goes up the line. Oh, and the backhand. Oh, the one plus shot from Nishioka goes long on the backhand. Djokovic does break. Oh, he'll be disappointed to get broken like that. Novak Djokovic is well on his way here. He's a double break up, four love up, and serving to a five love up here. After taking the first two sets, 6 3, 6 1. Yeah, really good from Novak. And it's very much in the ascendancy here. And you just feel like does he feel like a bagel or a breadstick? Well, we'll see, I guess. If he holds here, he's definitely got a chance of breaking this Joker again, as we've seen so far this set. So it's really a question of whether he's able to just uh, keep himself as solid as possible in the service game. Good second serve into the backhand. Then goes cross-court. Nishioka goes backhand into the tram lines. Great depth on the forehand from Djokovic. At first, I thought it wasn't the right choice because Nishioka read it. Uh, but the depth was so good on the forehand cross that Nishioka was cramped. So 15 love here. Big serve from Djokovic down the tee. Backhand short from Nishioka. Good forehand cross from Djokovic. Then goes drop shot. Nishioka comes to it. Oh, Djokovic reads it. Oh, what a volley. What a reaction volley from Novak Djokovic. That is sublime. It really is. Had no right to win that point. Really didn't. It was a drop shot. It wasn't a particularly good one. Nishioka got there and just whips the forehand cross court. Djokovic reads it so well and hits the reaction volley into the open court oh it's a big ace down the tee from the from the serve on the juice side 40 love he's saying give me the balls let's get through this let's get through this he wants to sleep he's like it's time for bagel time big serve out wide from novak and yeah the return goes long Djokovic does consolidate the break oh i tell you what this is going to be a bagel i'm telling you now <laughs> Yeah, Sam says bagel. Djokovic gone to <laughs> going to get a bagel, says King of Just. Sam says I agree. Yeah, Sam says six love earlier on, and it looks like yeah, she's gonna be right. So we'll find out. 34 winners to 31 unforced errors. Uh, 17 winners to 30 unforced errors for Nishioka. So yeah, it's been a very interesting match. Emmeline says tennis ball, tennis. Yeah, watching the tennis. Please remember to smash the like button, please, as well, if you haven't done so already. Thank you to those who have already liked the video. If you haven't, do like the video if you don't mind. It does help us out a great deal. Thank you. Um, also, do subscribe if you're new. And if you want to support the channel even further, you can become a member. Or you can uh, click on the PayPal link in the uh, pinned chat on YouTube. Or you can via Super Chat as well. And it says, interested to see how many plays tomorrow having been out for a while. I agree. That's a really good point, Ems, yeah. It will be interesting. I, I don't see him getting past Kepmanovic. I think it's in the third or fourth round. So we'll see. We'll see, though. I mean, he could prove me wrong. He's a class act, so it wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. wouldn't surprise me. Here we go. Nishioka serving to stay in the set and the match. Backhand cross from Nishioka. Djokovic goes long with the forehand. He's gone miles long with the forehand as well. 
15 love. Lexi says, come on, Rafa. Hey, <laughs> what do you mean, come on, Rafa? Rafa's not playing. Lexi is, uh, she's transported herself back a few hours. Big serve about wide from Nishioka. Good return. Down the middle from Djokovic. And then, oh, he gets lucky. Oh, he gets really lucky with the net cord. Flicks the net cord and uh, goes down the line. Did he apologize, Djokovic? Let's see. I don't think he did, you know. He's got to apologize. I know yeah, it's not like a massive net cord, but... Oh, he did. He did apologize. Okay, fine. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a bit cheeky otherwise. 14 forehand winners, though, for Djokovic so far compared to four for Nishioka. He's been dictating pretty nicely with the forehand, I have to say. Good second serve. Great backhand return from Djokovic. Great depth. Then tries to absolutely crunch the forehand. He does. I thought it had gone out, but it hasn't. Djokovic goes drop shot. Nishioka gets there, but goes into the net with a backhand. It is 15.30. Lexi says, I mean, Novak, lol. <laughs> Gary says, from the little I've seen, it looks like Nole is going to do another momentum build-up during this event also. Yeah, that's the right way to do it. It's the right way to do it, Gary. Red Devil says, big up, Fazan. Big up, Red Devil. Thanks for tuning in. 15.30, two points away potentially from this first round win and this match here, Djok Djokovic even. A good backhand return, slices down the line. And then goes forehand. Again, clips the line with the forehand, Djokovic. Great depth. And it's a lob backhand. And Nishioka goes forehand cross. Djokovic on the stretch. And uh, very much having to take that ball at the top of its peak. Has to then go cross court. Nishioka somehow makes the mistake and we have two match points. Match point. Yeah, two match point opportunities here for Novak Djokovic. 15-40, Nishioka goes into the body of Djokovic. Goes down the middle, Djokovic with the forehand, then goes up the line with the backhand, comes forward, puts the smash away, does he? Yes, he does. Oh, it's a great win for Novak Djokovic. It's been very, very polished from the Serb and the world number one. The reigning Roland Garros champion marches on here. 6-3, 6-1, love. And uh, he deals a big one, a breadstick to Nishioka. And I think we can say, to be fair, that Novak Djokovic has had the slightly better day on day two of this Roland Garros compared to Rafa Nadal, obviously winning 6-2, 6-2, 6-2 against Thompson earlier on. And uh, Crypto Eyes says, Novak number one of all time. Red Devil says, Inamo Nole. Guys, as well, so many of you in the chat, thank you very much for tuning in. Do appreciate it. Do remember to smash that like button, please. If you haven't done so already, it does help us out. We really do appreciate it. And do subscribe if you're new. Also, of course, you can uh, contribute by, via PayPal or Super Chat. Um, really do appreciate your support as well. Let's have a quick look at the stats and then we'll wrap it up. Djokovic, of course, will be facing either Molkan or Korea in the second round. They haven't played their match yet today because of the rain. So I'd imagine, uh, well, whoever plays him will be relatively tired going into it. Um, so look at this. I mean, serve stats pretty damn solid from Novak Djokovic. First serve percentage, 70%. First serve points, 173% as well. Nishioka, this is the... That's a big difference, right? He made 63% of first serves in, which is pretty solid, but only won 48% behind the first serve, 34% behind the second serve. Um, yeah, just not great. Only took one of his six breakpoint opportunities. Uh, 11 winners to 29 on four serves for Nishioka. Djokovic finished on 29 winners to 35 on four serves. A big gap in serve and ground stroke stats. And I, you have to say that Djokovic was just too good uh, for Nishioka. Nishioka gave it his all in the first set, played some pretty solid tennis, but Djokovic just took over. And in the end, it was just extremely good from uh, from Novak Djokovic. Just a professional performance, you have to say. A professional performance. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Do appreciate it. Uh, great to have you guys on. Gary says, uh, I have that Groundhog Day feeling watching the GOATs today. Deja vu all over again. Sam says, Woo, I was right. Red Devil says goat. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Ems says, thanks for Zan, for a great stream. No problem, Ems. Thanks for tuning in. Lex says, congrats, Novak. Good luck, Yoshi. And Lex says, thanks for Zan all. Uh, Gary says, Novak Djokovic does the business. He does. Remember to smash the like button if you haven't done so already. Thank you. Appreciate it. And do remember, of course, to subscribe if you're new. 
And yeah, if you want to contribute, then of course do super chat, PayPal, all that good stuff. Do appreciate it. And do remember to check out A Peak Tennis as well uh, for some mental tips and uh, training, of course, because why not? If you play tennis, it's very, very useful. Uh, do appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Stay safe and well. We'll see you tomorrow for some more streams, of course. Can't wait. And of course, a silk report, I'm sure, will be out later today. And uh, that is going to be something that you shouldn't miss out on because there's been some some really, really good wins for some people that we thought would win, but also some big upsets. Uh, so definitely worth tuning in for that as always. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.